Hello, this is Cyprian from FU4 and I'm coming back for a new tutorial about uh, Salome and I'll show you how to create hexa mesh. So you you have some kind of model like this one, a box with a cylinder inside. So how would you actually make a hexa meshing of such a box? So I'm showing you uh, now what I I want to to show to get. So this will be uh, the file model that I will show you how to generate this kind of model uh, from this box and this cylinder. Uh, so as usual, let's start from uh, zero. So let's open a new uh, new model and let's go into the geometry module. Um, so the first thing I'll do is that I will actually uh, create the box. So let's go and uh, well, we already have a create a box comment so let's use that and I will simply use the uh, the generic box of 200 200 200 um, now let's add a cylinder inside so same I'm using uh, create a cylinder um, so let's choose a dimension so a radius of 50 height of 200 like that and let's move this cylinder at uh, the middle of the box using uh, the translation command. So you see that I'm using the command here in the bar which are kind of hidden. Uh, if you want you can move those bar uh, so if you think it's better to show them like like that you can move, move them here um, or you can access them through the menu but anyway um, I'm, I'm not detailing those aspects right now uh, okay so move the cylinder to the center of the box so the box says 200 so we move it 100 100 like that and we uh, uncheck create copy okay and now I'm getting the box with the cylinder but now comes the difficult part how do I actually uh, get the hexa meshing on this box well the trick uh, will be to uh, to find a way to divide this uh, into a set of smaller uh, geometries that will be able to to be meshed using the the hexa measure uh, automatically. So for that, uh, here's how I'll do. First, you have to create another box inside here and then you have to create some planes here uh, and then you make a partition of all that and you will get uh, this. So how, how do I do that concretely? Um, well, let's create another box and this time let's choose well, we can choose 40 and 40 for example same uh, height and let's move this box uh, inside so let's use translation um, so how much should I move that? Nope, 80, 80, 80, okay, it sounds, uh, it looks good, I think it's at the middle, um, okay, and now let's create the planes, so to create the, the, the planes you have several options, uh, let me show you one of the options that uh, I think is uh, is good. Um, I will use for that the command um, the command explode. Okay, using the command explode, you can basically choose any kind of shape. So, for example, my box one, and I can explode it into edges. And now you see, uh, I still have my initial box, no problem with that. But now inside the box, uh, I get all the edges. I get access to all the edges of the box, which is really awesome so um, and I want this edge here I want this edge here uh, and now let's do the same with the box inside uh, and I'll temporarily you know uh, hide the cylinder so let's use explode again on on this uh, box into edges and um, let's uh, okay, let's apply. No, now I'm getting edge here. Uh, and how do I uh, create this plane? Well, basically, I'm using 
let's use the command extrude okay, extrusion extrusion and you have several methods here to extrude so uh, I think this one should be appropriate uh, choosing the best shape so the best shape is my edge here that I want to extrude into a plane and I will give it two points so the point here and the second point here and you see that it creates uh, the plane so I do that four times one time here and another time here okay uh, okay two more times to go point one and point two okay I think I missed I missed one point okay uh, and last one Okay, so now I'm getting um, this this four plane, uh, and I can activate my cylinder and I can activate my initial box. So I'm getting everything. So now the only thing I have to do is to make a partition of all that. So by making a partition, I'm creating one uh, geometry shape that I can use to to do the meshing. So uh, this shape is basically divided by all the shapes that I used to, to create it, so the box uh, and, and and why does it work? because each of those shapes are, uh, are you can say, I think isometric is the word, isometric to um, a parallel pipedic shape, so a rectangle you can say, so isometric to a rectangle, so this could be through a translation operation uh, be put as a rectangle so with one, two, three, four. Uh, well, the number of faces is correct and all that, so it, sh it can be, uh, it, it should work. So let's try. But I, I'm telling right away that there will be a bit of problem here. Uh, but I anticipated that, and it's just to show you uh, some some more trick. Okay, so I'm getting in the mesh module, uh, and let's click on create a mesh, and now uh, select the partition here, uh, and you see you have a lot of algorithm to do the meshing. So the one I want to choose is this one, hexahedron IGK, which help, will help me to create hexa uh, structured mesh, and I have to choose algorithm for each of the dimension because uh, the algorithm is always going from 1D to 2D to 3D so it, it mesh in a certain order so you have to tell him what measure for each dimension to use uh, and for 2D it's a quadrangle mapping that I'm using this is the, the one that will map the faces with uh, rectangles uh, and 1D uh, let's use Y discretization and let's give it a local length of um, 34 is a bit too uh, too large. Let's try let's try five. Okay, and let's see if it works. Right click, compute. Okay, and as expected, um, there is a bit of a problem here. So it tells me can't find eight corners of a block by 2D mesh. So and you have the you can show the subshape. So. The problem here is in this area. Um, basically, there is one area where it cannot find uh, the edges. So I don't know why. You see, I should have one block here, but it tries to divide it into uh, a lot of small blocks. I don't know why. Um, so let's let me show you why it doesn't work. So let's delete this. Let's come back to Geo module, and in order to see what happened. Uh, let's change to display mode wireframe and let's take a deep look at this area so there is something different in this area than in others and this is the cylinder you see the cylinder here there is an edge uh, so this edge is really really annoying uh, and why actually is there an edge on the cylinder I want I want a, a cylinder with a full surface and I don't know why there is an edge here. I think it's because 
you know the the way the 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 geometry is built maybe the algorithm required to have this edge in order to uh, to simplify the the job i don't know uh, probably something like that so i have to find a way to eliminate this edge uh, and the best way is that you see between the cylinder and this plane here I have also an edge here which is exactly at the same position so if I find a way to rotate my cylinder to get this edge on this plane well I think I will have something good to go so um, how do we do that well uh, I just first of all let's just delete my partition because I will create a new one so so I won't get confused um, let's show my initial box okay I let's show the cylinder cylinder so um, I want to f I want to rotate it along this so of fa uh, 30 45 degrees right so if I try to rotate it directly you see it asks me for an axis but it doesn't have an axis here so I um, I have either to create an axis or I have to rotate first the cylinder and well basically create a new cylinder I think this would be much faster than trying to create an axis and all of that so let's just create a new cylinder cylinder uh, I think radius was 50 height 200 uh, and instead to having the edge here let's uh, rotate it okay, using that rotate and now I can use Z axis and I want to rotate it of 45 degree uh, yeah now the axis will be in this direction so I think it's it's okay uh, create a copy no 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 copy I just want to rotate this uh, and let's show up my box and let's move this cylinder again uh, inside so let's move it let's move my cylinder of 100 and 100 uh, 100 and I don't want a copy I want a plan close okay and now I got my cylinder inside my box uh, and let's display my construction shapes so my I think it was my box too yep and my four planes and basically let's create again the partition so uh, new entity partition select everything apply and close uh, and let's again look directly using um, display mode wireframe so now see you, I don't have this uh, nasty edge anymore it's basically at the same place than this one so that's that should work much better uh, for the meshing so let's let's come back to mesh and let's okay let's display that and let's create a new mesh selecting my partition and let's select again hexahedron igk uh quadrangle mapping wire discretization with a local length of five right um apply and let's pray that it for it to work. Compute. Nice, it works perfectly. Well, wonderful. Now I'm I'm getting exactly what I wanted to show you. So that's uh, that's the th technique you can use in many models uh, to to create hexa mesh in shapes which even not uh, don't support the the hexa meshing like this one. Uh, and you're getting your uh, full exam mesh model. Uh, if okay, so I think that's all for this tutorial. That's uh, that was a trick. So create exam mesh. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
and if you have more things you want to see or um, some comments about this uh, tutorial or anything really you want to say just leave a message on the video or on the blog in the comments you can send me an email anything you 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 want uh, and and see you next time uh, for the next video thank you very much for watching so if you're on YouTube you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description otherwise you can go on my blog fefall.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.